Tyler from IntelliCAD Technology Consortium, and this is a review of the Dynamic Input feature. Dynamic Input is a new feature first introduced in IntelliCAD 10 that provides a command interface near the cursor in a drawing area. Let me show you what it looks like. Start the polyline command and see Dynamic Tooltips next to my cursor. Command Prompt, Input Fields, and Dimension Input Fields. It's very useful because from one hand I can see the current distance and angle of my polyline, but from the other hand it's easy to enter specific values using the tab key to switch between input fields. Let's take a look at the command line. There are several options prompting for each step. To access the full list of options, press the down arrow key. Up and down arrow keys to navigate and enter to select. Let's say I want to draw using a specific angle. So I use the Tab key to navigate to the Angle Edit box and type 30. Switch into the previous box and see that value 30 is locked. It's like being in polar tracking mode, but you're not limited with the angle value. Now when I finish my command, I want to use Dynamic Input to visualize dimensions of an entity. Select several entities then float the cursor over a grip until it's hot to see the dynamic input dimensions. It's a really helpful and powerful feature. You can see the current dimensions without changing the entity or using different commands. Many more dimensions will appear when you are doing leave grip editing, showing you the resulting dimension, length change, absolute angle, and more. Dynamic input is customized for specific entities. For example, when I add doors and windows, all kinds of dimensions appear changing in real time. Entity width, distance to every entity on the wall, and distance to each end of a parent wall. A very useful tip I want to mention is that you can toggle dynamic input by pressing and holding F12 key while a command is active. To disable or enable dynamic input feature, use the DIN mode system variable or the toggle dynamic input on-off button on the status bar. Right-click on the same button gives you access to the new dynamic input tab in the drawing settings dialog. That gives you an opportunity to disable, enable and modify the settings for the three components of dynamic input individually. All these changes are reflected in the DIN mode system variable. Also, you can customize the tooltip appearance by changing tooltip text and background color, tooltip size, and transparency. You can customize dynamic input the way you like the most. For example, if command line input is more comfortable for you, you can switch dynamic command prompt input off and only leave dimensioned input on using the dynamic input tab in the drawing settings dialog or set the mode system variable to 2. Let's access the pointer input settings dialog box and change the visibility option for the last one. And now you can enter any command and use the autocomplete option in the dynamic input tooltip. In my opinion, dynamic input feature will make your drawing life much easier. This is all I have for now. Please leave your comments and thank you for watching this video.